Hello everyone, this is our second solve problem para sa chain rule of differentiation. When we talk about chain rule, kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative ng f of g of x, we're in, yung g of x, siya yung inner function natin. This is just equal to, una, kuhanin muna natin yung derivative ng buong outer function na iniiwan natin yung g of x, yung inner function as is, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative ng inner function na g of x. On other notation, we have dy over dx is just equal to yung derivative ng outer function multiplied dun sa derivative ng inner function. Now, we apply this dito sa example natin. We have y is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1. Medyo komplikado lang siyang tignan kasi meron tayong square root. Pero we can simplify this part kasi as we recall, if we have square root of x raised to a, tapos ang root niya is b, this is just equal to x. Yung exponent na nasa loob, siya yung numerator. This is x raised to a over yung root, siya naman yung denominator. Kaya ganito yung gagawin natin sa kanya. Kasi itong x squared plus 1, pwede natin siyang pagsamahin with an exponent of 1. So we can rewrite this part as y is equal to yung nasa loob na x squared plus 1. Tapos meron tayong exponent na 1 over, dahil kinukuha natin yung square root, our denominator is 2. Now dahil ganito na yung form, Nung given natin na equation, mas madali na siyang kuhana ng derivative using chain rule. Now, we apply, piliin natin kung ano yung inner function yung nasa loob, that is x squared plus 1. Kaya kapag ginamit natin yung chain rule, etong buong to, this is our outer function, pwede natin siyang kuhana ng derivative. So, we get our derivative, y prime is just equal to, etong buong to, we apply our derivative of a power. Again, as we recall, if we are getting the derivative of a certain x raised to an exponent n, ang ginagawa dito is ibababa lang yung exponent na n, tapos imumultiply siya kay x, and then yung exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. Kaya ganito yung gagawin natin dito sa ating given equation while treating yung x squared plus 1, yung inner function as is, kaya yung exponent na 1 half, using this derivative of a power, ibababa lang natin siya. So we have here 1 half, Tapos e1 yung nasa loob, we have x squared plus 1. Tapos following the formula, babawasan natin ng isa yung exponent. We have 1 over 2 minus 1. Now that we are done here dito sa outer function, eto na yung buo. Kailangan pa natin siyang i-multiply dun sa derivative naman yung nasa loob. That is x squared plus 1. Still, we can apply the derivative of a power. Eto tayo muna kay x squared. Ibababa natin yung exponent na 2. So, you have 2, tapos x, and then yung exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. We have 2 minus 1 plus getting the derivative of a constant 1 that is just equal to 0 kasi ang derivative ng kahit na anong constant is just equal to 0. Now, we only have to simplify this one. We have our y prime, the derivative, is just equal to 1 half. Tapos, eto, we have 1 over 2 minus 1. Ang problema, meron tayong fraction tsaka whole number. Para makagawa tayo ng subtraction, kailangan pareho sila ng denominator. So, we copy this one, x squared plus 1, and then we have 1 half, tapos yung 1 ay gagawin nating 2 over 2. Ngayon, meron na silang parehong denominator, we can perform yung subtraction sa numerator. Then, simplify natin to, we have 2 times x, and then 2 minus 1 is just 1, x raised to 1, or simply x plus 0, so this is still 2x. Ngayon, perform na lang natin yung operation. Tapos dahil commutative naman, pwedeng pagpalit-palitin ang multiplication. Ilipat ko lang si 2x dito para mas madali yung operation natin. So we have y prime, that is equal to 1 over 2. Ililipat ko lang si 2x para mas madali natin makita yung operation later on. And then we have x squared plus 1. Tapos 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. Tapos we copy our denominator 2. Then, eto, kapag nag-multiply tayo, 1 times 2x is 2x, kaso nga lang, we can perform our division here. So, we have 2 divided by 2 is 1, kaya 1 times 1 times x, ang matitira na lang dito is simply x, and then we have x squared plus 1 raised to negative 1 over 2. Now, this is our final answer. This is the derivative of our given function. Pero if you want to simplify it further, dahil meron tayong negative exponent, pwede mo pa siyang galawin ng kaunti, 
This is already the final answer, pero kung gusto lang natin mag-manipulate pa, so we have y prime, this is equal to, dahil meron tayong negative exponent, pwede natin siyang ibaba, so we have x over x squared plus 1, and then this is raised to, from negative 1 half, this will become positive 1 over 2. Itong dalawa ay pareho lang, pero kung gusto mo siyang ibalik in terms ng naka-square root, pwede rin itong isulat as y prime is equal to x yung nasa numerator, tapos eto lang naman yung merong negative exponent, so we have, tapos yung 1 half na exponent, so we have square root of yung nasa loob na x squared plus 1. This is also a form ng final answer natin. Now, this is the process kung paano gumamit ng chain rule. For this example, see you on our next lecture video.